Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, January 29th. Hope you guys are having a great morning thus far. We do got uh, a few economic news to go over today on the calendar. So we'll start off with the Case Shiller Base HPI Home Price Index for the month of November. So as we've been kind of seeing this trend here, uh, we've been seeing appreciation uh, dropping. So as you can see here, it went from 5.3% in October and it dropped to 5.2%. So this is kind of normal. Uh, we're, you know, the news media is going to be saying it. You know, home prices are dropping, but it's not really the case. Uh, home prices dropping is basically saying you're going in negative, whereas home prices are still rising but at a slower pace. And there's a big difference between the two. And I think you can. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see what the spring holds because uh, I I don't know about nationally, but you know, I'm hearing from other people nationally it's looking pretty good. And I know locally, I'm. I have buyers here running into multiple offers. So uh, it seems like as soon as the New Year's was over, uh, people kind of jumped back into it. And even during the holiday season, I've heard uh, I had a few people up against multiple offers as well. So uh, spring uh, spring buying is definitely going to be something I think we'll look forward to. Uh, and we'll start seeing some uh, good numbers through that, through that uh, t during that time period as well. So it'll be interesting to see how much uh, they've gone up. Uh, let's kind of move along here. We also got the Consumer Confidence Index for the month of January, and we had a very high number here at 126.6. I think this was a high from like a while ago, from like a couple decades. So uh, we had a forecast of a slight drop to 124, but it did drop a little bit further at 120.2. Uh, probably a little bit due to um, the government shutdown for a good portion of the month, and uh, that's probably what we're seeing right there, results of that. Uh, we'll see if it gets better uh, from there. But again, these are still pretty high levels right here. Sorry about that. Uh, let's kind of move along here. Uh, headline news, stock market. Uh, sorry about that. Stock market, Dow, the Dow is up, but the stock market is actually mixed. The S&P and the NASDAQ are actually in negative territory so far. And uh, NASDAQ might take a little bit of a beating this week, uh, primarily because we got a lot of uh, high-tech uh, heavyweights coming in from uh you know, Apple, to, uh, I believe like Amazon, Netflix, some of those guys are going to be releasing uh, data, their earnings reports. And a lot of it has to do, you know, we've been hearing in the past the slowdown in China is affecting theirs. So a lot of these high-tech uh, bellwethers might, uh, you know, they're going to be listening for that. So uh, they're going to be listening for the uh, earnings reports, and they're also looking for the outlook. And um, we were getting some good outlook last week, but we'll see what this week holds, especially, like I said, with the high-tech industry coming in. Also, uh, we got the uh, a report came out that there's charges, the U.S. is drawing up charges uh, up on that Hawaii for breaking sanctions with Iran and trade secrets, uh, stealing trade secrets from a U.S. business partner. And uh, so that could uh, put a very big wrinkle in our talk with the uh, between the U.S. and ch uh, China on the trade because, as we mentioned before, they had uh, the CFO detained and she happens to be uh, a relative, I think a daughter, uh, of one of the higher-ups in uh, the Chinese government. So again, uh, we'll have to kind of wait, watch, and see how this uh, unfolds, but uh, this could be a pretty big wrinkle there. Uh, today also we got the FMC uh, meeting. They're, they begin their two-day meeting. Tomorrow is when they'll give their announcement. It will be by 11.30 Pacific Standard Time tomorrow uh, when they'll announce it. They are not expecting any rate hike at this meeting, but they are going to be watching for the dot plot, so see if there's any forecast of any rate hikes this year. Uh, previously, there was like two or three for 2019, but uh, s signs are showing some slowdown on a global level, and they feel that this could hit the U.S., and you know, we're pretty close to, um, basically, we're almost at a uh, yield curve, like a, a flat yield curve, uh, but you know, uh, with the re recent rate hike, it could put us at a negative yield curve. So. Uh, Typically, once we get that negative yield curve, you know, uh, within a year, uh, we typically go into recession. And a lot of people are forecasting, economists are forecasting a recession going into next year uh, in 2020. So we'll have to kind of watch and see if that, um, you know, that's why they're kind of looking for the outlook. And they're also kind of looking to see what the Fed, what they're uh, forecasting. Later today, uh, in, uh, British Parliament is going to be uh, voting for the amendments uh, to the uh, Theresa May's uh, Brexit vote. So we'll have the Brexit vote coming up. So that will be a big play. If they can, again, if they can have uh, uh, pre, what they call a soft divorce uh, from the EU, that will uh, make the markets feel a little bit more easy. But if it's a hard one, they could potentially disrupt the markets here uh, going 
forward a bit until you know there's some stabilization but that could be a pretty big cataclysm and they have a due date i believe in march so uh, this will be something that will be on the minds if something doesn't come to fruition sooner than later uh that's going to come down to the wire let's kind of jump ahead see how the bond market is as you can see here we are up right now about six basements we're a little higher but we're fighting we, it looks like we're above the 25-day moving average. We're going up against a double resistance here. And we got the Fibonacci level here we're trying to fight up, break up against. Uh, but with these recent hikes, I would say we got better pricing today. So mortgage rates are a little bit better today uh, than we were uh, yesterday, for example. So uh, we should be in a little bit better position today. And hopefully we can break above this. This could give us a nice springboard to rise up even further and see some more improvement. Uh, especially right around you know on New Year's what we had. Uh, see how the yields are doing. Yields are down right now. They're testing their 25-day moving average. It's at, hanging at 2.72 range, right on the line here. So we'll see if it breaks below it uh, or not. So if it breaks below it, that will give us that extra spring uh, up above uh, that we kind of need here. All right. So that pretty much wraps things up. Rate, mortgage rates are a little bit uh, should be a little better priced today, which is obviously good news for those who are looking to buy or refinance. And uh, but if you guys, if anything changes, I'll post on uh, Twitter. So go ahead and follow me at Mike Bjork on Twitter if you want any of the up, uh, updates throughout the day. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.